We practice monthly drills with students for a variety of things, whether that's an earthquake drill or those precautionary lockouts. According to the National Library of Medicine, school shootings are at their highest recorded levels. How do schools ease their children's fears and prepare them for a time of crisis? We spoke with the Director of Public Relations for the Natrona County School District, Tanya Sutherland. If you were um, to have something that was occurring at schools, such as a precautionary lockout, our first priority is the safety of students, staff, and school visitors within that building. And then from there, we immediately begin to assess communication channels and communicate with parents and guardians as needed. The school district utilizes the Infinite Campus Parent Portal to send important notifications. We also spoke with a local grandmother who wishes to remain anonymous. She told us she believes that when it comes to having those hard conversations about school shootings with her little ones, honesty is the best policy. Don't draw attention to yourself. If something does happen, just pay attention to your surroundings. If there's things going on in the hall, stay in your classroom, get underneath your desk, hit the floor, you know, make sure you're not up high. This local grandma has some wise advice for kiddos in an emergency. We always tell them don't be the first ones outside of the school because a lot of times if there's somebody waiting outside of the school, the first kids out are going to be the first ones to get shot at. So kind of hang back just for a second and then go out. Tanya tells us the Natrona County School District is dedicating to keeping the kids of Casper safe. Julia Conti, your Wyoming link, Casper.